President Benigno Aquino III held a dialogue with retired generals of the Armed Forces of the Philippines on the proposed Bangsamoro political entity in the Mindanao region. Nel Maribohok will tell us why. Palace officials have reported that President Benigno Aquino III held a dialogue with members of the Association of Generals and Flag Officers in Malacanang on Monday. The dialogue was held after the group, led by retired Lieutenant General Edilberto Adan, publicly opposed the passage of the proposed Bangsamoro Basic Law. Most of the questions revolve around the implementation of the decommissioning and normalization process which was clarified in detail by Secretary Teresita Deles. Secretary Florencio Abad also pointed out that the budget allocation for the proposed Bangsamoro region is based on historical need, as reflected in the existing budget of the ARMM. The AGFO suggested there should be changes in the draft BBL's provision on authority and jurisdiction of the central government on defense and security, and the scrapping of a provision allowing the Bangsamoro to have its own police and army forces. The normalization aspect of the peace agreement should be made a major provision, the AGFO added. Presidential Communication Operations Office Secretary Herminio Coloma Jr. said the President and Cabinet members present during the meeting were able to explain fully to the AGFO the legality of the BBL. At the end of the meeting that lasted for more than two hours, General Adan thanked the President and reiterated that despite the reservations they expressed on provisions of the draft BBL, they fully supported the government's initiative to build enduring peace in Mindanao. The AGFO is an association composed of over 700 retired and active soldiers and veterans. Nel Maribuho, reporting for Y News.